Even with a hit show on TV in the 90s, comedian and actress Roseanne Barr was a controversial public figure. Things reached another level in 2018 after Barr posted racist comments on Twitter, following years of sharing conspiracy theories online and making racist remarks. The reboot of Barr's popular TV series Roseanne was cancelled right after, it was eventually retitled The Connors and continued without the matriarch character, and she hasn't acted in Hollywood since. While Stacey Dash's most known role is Dion in the movie Clueless, a film that is beloved by millions of fans around the world nearly three decades after its release, the actress herself is less beloved. In fact, multiple publications have referred to Dash as today's most hated woman in America. She has made numerous racist, misogynistic, and transphobic remarks in interviews and during her time on Fox News, from which she was fired in 2017. During and after the defamation trial pitting her against her ex-husband, actor Johnny Depp, Amber Heard became a target of hatred from millions online. At one point, Heard was on the list ranking the most hated individuals living in 2021. The actress moved to Spain soon after for a fresh start, and has no plans to return to Hollywood anytime soon. Actress Tara Reid was an It Girl in the early aughts, starring in all the hippest teen comedy movies. However, it wasn't long before she became best known for partying, plastic surgery, celebrity feuds, PR relationships, and unsuccessful professional projects, the actress shared that her reality TV series likely ruined her career. Not only did Reed become a lightning rod for criticism from the public, but she was no longer cast in top Hollywood films. She never stopped loving acting, though and even produced several projects. She now counts only on herself to pursue her career in cinema. Fans of the hit TV series Desperate Housewives enjoyed watching the lead actresses depict dramatic storylines on camera. However, it appears there was just as much drama taking place off camera. Terry Hatcher, specifically, was rumored to be a bully toward other actresses on the show. This bad behavior reputation seems to have stuck with Hatcher, and the actress hasn't been cast in major Hollywood projects for years. It's hard to pinpoint exactly why Kristen Stewart has received so much hate from the public. While some feel she isn't a great actress, others didn't like that she always looked unhappy in press photos, and when her relationship with her Twilight co-star Rob Pattinson ended, many fans turned against her. Luckily, this hate appears to be a thing of the past. Gwyneth Paltrow is one of those celebrities that people either love or love to hate. The actress-turned-entrepreneur has been criticized for everything from being out of touch to promoting pseudoscience theories on her website Goop. The reason why Anne Hathaway attracted such loathing, particularly between 2011 and 2013 when she had an unsuccessful Oscar co-hosting gig and won several awards, is somewhat of a mystery. Some posit that the fact that Hathaway didn't try to be a cool, carefree girl, and instead was dedicated and determined in her roles, with what some called theater kid energy, made her unlikable in the public's eye, especially as the media pitted her against the laid back Jennifer Lawrence. For years, Raven Simone was best known for being a comedic young actress, beloved by audiences and free from controversy. After she became a co host on The View in 2015, However, her image in the public's eye took a turn for the worse. She made what some called ignorant and self-hating comments on the show, and a petition was filed for the actress to be fired. She ended up leaving the show a year later. The public may not see Deborah Messing in such a bad light, but her former colleagues have different opinions. On the set of The Mysteries of Laura, the actress developed a reputation for being a diva, with crew members stating she was demanding, snobby, and rude. Meanwhile, during the filming of the Will and Grace reboots between 2017 and 2020, it was rumored that there was tension between Messing and her co-star Megan Mullally. Misha Barton has received some hate simply because people see her as an extension of the character she used to play on the OC, Marissa Cooper, who had a lot of issues and made a lot of bad decisions. However, it turns out Barton herself wasn't so beloved on the set of the teen drama in the mid-aughts either. In recent years, Barton claimed she was bullied during her time on the OC, 
while sources from the show claimed that she was actually a nightmare to work with, showing up late and not taking responsibility. When it comes to TV fandoms, few genres garner quite as much passion as soap operas. This is why when actors and actresses are recast on soaps at times, it doesn't always go over so smoothly. This was unfortunately the case for Olivia Rose Keegan. When Keegan took on the role of Claire Brady on Days of Our Lives, she received intense hate from fans who didn't separate her from the character. It shocked Keegan at first, but she eventually took it in stride, recognizing that she was acting well if fans felt like they hated her because of her character. Angelina Jolie has been a target of hate from audiences for years. The actress has been the object of scrutiny for everything from kissing her brother at the Oscars to adopting multiple children, getting together with Brad Pitt at the time he was divorcing Jennifer Aniston, and then, years later, divorcing Pitt. As the details of pop star Britney Spears' conservatorship became public, hatred started to grow towards her younger sister, actress Jamie Lynn, and the lack of support she offered in the dispute. Jamie Lynn received many threatening messages from fans, it got to the point where she had to address her followers on social media asking for them to stop bullying and being hateful. For years, media outlets shared that Katherine Heigl was rude and ungrateful and that she wasn't being cast in projects as a result of her attitude. However, it appears what was more likely the case is that Heigl spoke honestly and was assertive on sets. Being blacklisted from Hollywood for a time had a negative impact on Heigl's mental health, but in recent years, all misconceptions have been cleared and Heigl is dazzling audiences on screens again. Candace Cameron Bure was a fixture of childhood for many fans, appearing as DJ on the hit TV family sitcom Full House for several years in the late 80s and early 90s. As an adult, Cameron Bure has become more of a controversial figure. The actress, who is outspoken about her conservative views, has landed herself in hot water for a number of statements made over the years, including her decision to leave Hallmark, where she was known for starring in Christmas movies, in favor of a network that she claimed would keep traditional marriage at the core. Leah Michelle's best-known TV role involved her playing a talented, but sometimes diva-like character, which it turns out might not have been so far from reality. In recent years, some of Michelle's former Glee co-stars revealed that during the run of the show, the actress was rude and behaved like a bully. The actress released an apology soon after. Writer, actress, director, and producer Lena Dunham has received equal doses of hate and praise since the show she co-created, Girls, went on the air on HBO in 2012. At first, Dunham was criticized for benefiting from nepotism, with some claiming she had a TV show as a result of her parents' success in the art world. Later, she was criticized for lack of diversity on her show and statements she's made in interviews, in her book, and on social media. At one point, actress-turned-duchess Meghan Markle was referred to as the most loathed woman in the world. While her acting career was quite successful, Many have shown distaste for Markle in recent years due to her and Prince Harry's decision to leave the royal family and her career choices since then. But the important thing here is, who do you hate? Let me know in the comments below.